Hello to all my day drinkers out there, I'm Martini Pictures and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, the game brought to you by someone who has a confession to make. During the last episode, around the 45 minute mark, and if you know how long the previous episode was, it was quite a while from the end, uh, that's when I started to have a little bit of a stomach ache. So by the end, I was at my wit's end, and I really wanted all the missions to just stop so I could use the bathroom. Holy hell was my stomach in major distress. I'm surprised that I was able to keep my composure, and I doubt that I did. I'll have to check back on the recording, but holy hell was I in pain. I know that's a little bit too much information for some, but I was just letting you know, just in case it was clouding any judgment, any uh, decisions, commentary, who knows what. Uh, but for now, I guess... I don't know if I should trigger this event with Dutch right away. I mean, I may as well since he's right here. That and the, the game immediately had me wake up right here facing this direction. What you doing, Dutch? Yeah, nothing says you're sane like playing imaginary chess by yourself. I know that there are some actual people who can do this, like visualize a board and play against someone else uh, if they're relatively on the same level. But if you're playing against yourself, you are just mad in the membrane. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move. But I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Jose, huh? I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Arthur is so pale. And why did he immediately choose Micah to do some reconnaissance with? Wait a minute. I just thought about it. How did Charles get away with all of this? In all of this? Charles, be right with me. Always. I like his haircut on him. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. Smurfy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. <laughs> I'm 
almost done. <laughs> He's getting more prepared than he thought. We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Hmm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. We are just what? looking for a danger now. It's not that we try to avoid it. We are literally we putting ourselves in harm's way now. Sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh, yeah, we can take the canoe. A good idea. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's something different. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Sam Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> I, I noticed that too going in. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Roughly. Uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, With a lot more trouble. didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Mm -mm. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been. Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know. Of course. His level-headedness. How does everything just go so bad? so fast that was kind of a cool transition like the camera cut right into the tree that was kind of a cool transition There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here okay I just gotta follow you right Will. Will our horses be okay? I don't want to lose Pepper Jack again. So can I just hop in or what? Oh, I guess so. Come on, Arthur. Sorry. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians? Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to help out of it where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Hmm. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. 
keep that in mind. Should probably dodge the rocks. I saw that the objective was a little bit to the left, but... Oh well. I thought it was closer, but I'm like, why would we take this if the horse... If the end point was right there. Guess this just shows what we're doing. And that is not how water works. We would still need a paddle if, <laughs> if we were that close. Oh, this water looks pretty. Oh, this is like the perfect setting for the water effects that they have in this game. Oh, that is so pretty. That's Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Uh, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. <laughs> Take your word for it. Whatever you say, Charles. I'm just here for the ride. God damn it, Charles. Make up your mind of where you want to go. This is on the map. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. Will do, I guess. It's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I made the wrong decision to take the canoe. You see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. Gotcha. You see that up ahead? Slow see down. what? Keep it quiet. There could be some of them. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, Charles. Oh. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. All right. <laughs> follow me. Stay quiet. No problem. Let's get closer to him. Here, the boss. this way of everyone in camp I think Charles is the most stealthy definitely Murphys I say we deal with them from here you take one I'll take the other okay I noticed that it grabbed the bow for good job. 
There's a machete, holy shit. Okay, one second. Will I get my, uh... Did I get my arrow back? I have no idea. Let's go. Oh. Awkward transition. Okay. Oh well. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? He must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Yeah. Because we don't want any unwanted attention as well. Sorry. God, this is fucking creepy. Oh, nice. I, I was worried that I would have to take that one out. Oh, I didn't realize I was wasting my energy. God damn it. Fuck. Just had to shoot. Or, I mean, say something, didn't you? What the fuck? There we go. Oh, you just had to yell. What the fuck? God, I wish this thing would shoot as soon as I pull the trigger. God. Damn it. Oh. Jesus. Come on. 
just get that poor girl out of the cage. <laughs> Stay away from me. It's okay. It's okay. I love that's how that's his first response, both with this girl and Abigail. It's just okay. <laughs> she looks young. Like way younger. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they... Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. B. Um, if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. I wanted to see what that. Just try to relax now. Flash was. Yeah. <clears throat> Just get her down into main town Ansburg, I guess. Yes, I know. Where exactly is Ansburg? Chop down trees. I think I'm close. Because I recognize this area. Okay. Up here is fine. Some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy group guys. Oh my god. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind of Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Hmm. 
I don't know if I should have accepted the money, but I mean, she felt it was the right thing to do. So, I don't know. Technically, in a normal situation, I wouldn't, but, like, for Arthur's character, I really think I that okay. it's Back fine for him to, to have Back taken it. Oh, you and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. Molly's been struggling for a while. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told him. I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! God, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Just calm down, Arthur. <laughs> He's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Oh, what the? She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you, Mr. Pearson? Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Jesus. Chapter 6, Beaver Hollow. God damn it. There's so much fucking wrong with this, I this ideology. No wonder Jack and Abigail got out of it later. Just to raise Jack? Did he just cough up blood? You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again, and you're a fucking murderer! She broke the rules! She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer! Murderer! Oh. My God. Everyone's feeling it now. No one is having fun. Should probably go see what Sadie has to say. I think I probably should have done this a while ago. I think I should have done that mission with Sadie first. Instead of do the stuff with Dutch. She did request me. That was that was stupid. Why didn't I do it before? Oh! What the? Oh, he's getting sick. This don't look good, what happened? I guess I'll give him a cure. Here, drink up. What happened? Oh, 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 thank you. Reckon I was done for there. Oh, oh. What exactly happened? Oh, oh. I had a bite of that plan over there and it hit my guts like a freight train. Oh, oh. It's that little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that if I was you. More pink flower people? Oh, this is the oleander. You've sold me on that plan. 
Tell me about it. Why are so many people just unknowing of the oleander plant? Also, I just thought about it. I am going back into uh, Saint Denis, the place that we tried to rob a giant ass bank. Well, technically we did succeed. How the fuck am I gonna be let in just like that? I should be wanted dead or alive, my head on a stake, my head, my body hanging from a rope in this town. Oh! Stranger? <gasps> Stranger. I like strangers. Strangers are my friends. Friends make me happy. Where is that screaming coming from? Hi. You okay? You sick, partner? It's in me. They're in me. You're not. What are? But it's great. Butcher's Crick! Where? Uh, Butcher's Crick! Is that where you're from? Butcher's Crick. You want me to take you back, or... There ain't uh, me. Uh, come what? on, let me get you home. No idea what the fuck he's talking about, but... Okay. Take a stranger to Butcher Creek. Does he have, like, a s What could he possibly have inside of him? Okay, fella. I do not want to drown him. Obadiah? screaming about oh, don't worry I got you here come on remove him I tried to before I want to know what's what happened Uh, do I just drop him? I would have thought. Oh. Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, come on, here, up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? No, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. He said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for lim What the? Jesus. Huh. Please, please, sir. Let me heal. not well. Uh, uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Huh. Do I need to bring, like, an exorcist or something, eventually, to that guy? Sorry to keep you waiting, Sadie. I'm almost there. Oh, why did it slow down? <coughs> Holy shit! Oh my, oh my god!
what are you doing? Mister, are you okay? Do Mister, I look okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> Mister, you, you don't look so good. Well, thank you. Let's get you to a doctor. Oh, yeah. I guess he is good. Uh, am I just gonna be walking in darkness? Okay. Oh. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Ah, that's a lot. I'll be Man. Nearly there, just around this corner. Okay. That's you a lot of... there, friend. Go on. Thank you. That's a lot of blood. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. Okay, there we go. It, the camera was just stuck on her. Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that did. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now... What's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Oh my god. Again? See, I knew. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Uh. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Shot of morphine or something. Huh. Making me see the light. I guess I just start walking. Where's my horse? I can't even whistle for him. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. I guess I just gotta leave the area. Huh. You have it in you, I can tell. Who is that? Was that Lenny? Was that Molly? I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. That was the X. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. 
Hosea's voice sent a chill down my spine. Oh! You're sick. While sick, you will only gain the benefit of consuming a limited amount of food and drink. Huh. So... I don't regain health? Or something? Hold on, maybe... Well, this is not what I wanted. Uh... Player... Arthur... I think there was a description. Conditions. Oh my god. Well-being. Wait, toxicity. I don't have any. I'm very underweight, apparently. Temperature is just fair for this. Tuberculosis. What can this describe? Uh, I guess nothing, but it drains even more of my health. Guess I can go see Sadie again. I can go and try and see Sadie, I guess. Also, where is my horse? Your horse is out of whistling range. Wait, no it's not. Pepper- What the? Fuck! Pepperjack! What the- What the shit just happened? My horse was not here, and then all of a sudden I turn around to see that the icon was- Wait, this guy is- Wait, this guy is still looking for Gavin? Where do I hear him? Hope you have luck finding your friend. He's been searching for almost months, probably now. At, at least two months, I can I can think. Because the first time I ever met him was in, like, Valentine, right? Way back when? Wait, I thought Sadie was supposed to be in here. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Hmm. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening... Years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Right you did. And buried them together. Follow me. It makes me happy knowing Lenny's resting easy as well. Lenny died more so because of me, because I couldn't so, pull out my pistol in time. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. 
I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. Huh. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Yeah. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sandy Adler. <laughs> she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? <laughs> Mr. Bullard? <laughs> ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. You ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, Why? No, sir, it does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. I mean, despite the spitting, her little cute smile I you two would get on. said it. <laughs> said it all. Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs. Let us away. Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, pull on that rope. What? <laughs> Okay. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should hmm. still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Yeah. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. Oh my it really is God. Really up there, you'll have seen nothing like it. Yeah. Wow. All right then, let's break through these clouds. Oh. My god. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. Gotcha. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? <laughs> All I see whenever like he tugs on the rope is like the conductor of like a train like <laughs> Author and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Wow. 
Did you oh, that is cool. The, the shot with the train. Yeah. Just say the word. I think the ascension meter is going down slowly. So if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. <laughs> I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it though? Did you know I don't know. Both look good to me. I did not, Mr. Bullard. Sadie wears it nicely too. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Huh. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? <laughs> Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Wonder if I can see him already. Oh, there's some. There's people over there. Someone right there. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. I'm this field. Okay. Uh, how about Look that one? Suspicious, wouldn't you say? Wait, that's John, isn't it? Yep, that's him. Uh oh. Shit, they noticed. What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! I thought we had to get John. Come on, hurry up. Okay. So was that more so just to see if John was there and alive? I must say the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Sure. Oh yeah, I've, Lord, I've that, been there. Is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Why? Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Come on, come on, come up. Come on. Really? I can't tell if I'm hitting them or not because they keep like seem to be dropping like flies. And it seems to target him in the wrong area. I don't get it. Man, Sadie's a pretty good shot.
God, this is awful. I'm trying to shoot from this. It. Oh, I. Are you kidding me? I shot the tree. Wait a minute. In reality, this this would not be happening. The the time that it would take us to fly with this thing is not realistic at all. God damn it. Really? Any more? Yep, there's more up here. I'm glad I have someone on my side. Beyond Sadie. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon crash did not know, but I was more so just still looking at like the rope and thinking that we were above her already. I mean, his head was aimed downward and back. Look out! A up ahead! I gotcha. You you Wait, why is it smoking so much? All right, now I can go get her. Come on, how do I pull up? I'm pulling. Come on, pull her up fast. Come on. Just gotta pick them off one at a time. And headshots are very valuable. Behind? Oh, fuck. I should probably stay behind. No, actually, Sadie's moving up. What the? Where? I see a few coming up over here, but... God, I wish that it wouldn't. What the? What? What is it doing? What are these controls? Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought I could nick him in the face. I like Sadie a lot. Oh. Holy shit, Sadie. I 
only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Cole, <laughs> the government. They got Cole O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang Good. Him. Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to <laughs> see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation's really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Huh. Icarus and friends with Sadie. Get five headshots from the balloon. It's incredibly fucking hard to shoot at them because it targets the body here when the body's there. It was fucking awful trying to shoot that. And then it wouldn't let me go into like free aim unless you pulled it away and then it like shot away. So it, it was bad trying to use that. Uh, complete with at least 70% accuracy. You just shouldn't shoot while you're on the uh, balloon if you want to do that. And complete with the mission without taking any health items. I think because I had to restart, I failed that. Because I didn't take any. I don't think I ever checked my journal after I saw that the entry was there and I tried to look at it before. After the new chapter started. It never gave me the chance to look at it. So after I collect all the shit that I can from over here, because I feel as if, like, Arthur's got a lot to write from his journey in Guarma. Although he might just write it in as, I don't want to remember much, so I'm leaving this out. I wonder if, like, the, uh, plane in the first game, when the guy jumped off the, uh, the giant rock, and then plummeted into the ground. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that. That was also quoted to be about Icarus, right? Or was it just about planes? I forget. But, um... This Icarus definitely fell to the ground. Got to expose more of the map over here at the penitentiary. I think what I might do for this episode, I'm just going to explain for the next episode real quick. I think I'm going to do these stranger events. Don't really know what they're about. I'll figure out later. But, that being said, I think what I might do is I'll do those in the next episode and I'll just leave off while reading some of the journals from uh, Arthur. I can't read it, so I'll have to read it in this form. Alright, here we go. Went to teach Angelo Bronte a lesson. Taught him something, I guess. Taught him alligator. Taught him alligators have a nasty way about them. Dutch is torn between his dreams of escape and his need to prove something or other. I don't quite know what. Not sure he does. Wants us to make one last big haul of cash. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Then flee to Tahiti. For Tahiti, excuse me. And that did not happen. Retire and become farmers. Where the hell is Tahiti? I guess they don't have Pinkertons there, at least. All them years we dreamed of being ranchers out in virgin lands in the west. Now it's bananas and coconuts and long boat rides. 
I guess anywhere the train can get to, the law can get to. Dutch probably has it right. This country really don't want folk like us no more. From ocean to ocean, places going to law-abiding and decent and dulled and rigid until folks have frozen themselves into nothingness. The people in the city are worse and more desperate than the nastiest gunslinger I ever met. They'd shoot you in the back and make you pay. Make you pay for your own funeral. They throw shit on you for sport. They walk past the lost and starving like they can't see them. Keep feeling sick, but I'm sure it's nothing. This damn swamp ain't natural. Arthur. And then he drew the sh the sh swamp. <laughs> And he drew the swamp with Angelo Bronte. Is that a fish that I caught or something? And the Gatling gun? Hosea and Lenny. Ugh. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. The bank job was. The bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed. Lenny got shot in the head. Marston got himself arrested and and is awaiting trial. We fled, leapt on a ship, sailed into a storm. The ship sank. Whole thing like a dream, like a fool's nightmare. I survived that and being lost at sea. And got washed ashore on an island called Guarma. Whatever Tahiti is like. I hope it ain't nothing like Guarma. Some nasty bastard named Fusar had the people by the throat. And we ended up in a fight with the goddamn army. Javier nearly died. I nearly got killed. Met some real nice decent folk. Brave folk living in a hell land of hell. We got a boat out of there, just about, after some real nasty fighting. Don't think I met many folk deserve killing more than that piece of shit Fusar. Upon returning, found the folk again. At least them as ain't, at least them as ain't dead, but within a few hours the Pinkertons had found all of us. Old Agent Milton, once us all dead and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all Dutch who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. And then H plus, I think I think that's when he found out about Hosea's grave. Beaver Hollow. Molly ratted us out. Dutch broke her heart, so she told the law about us. Explains how they found out, found us so easily, I guess. Love does strange things to us all. Even stranger than hate. She turned up, drunk and mouthy, and told us all this. She was so pathetic I wanted to spare her, but Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. I guess it was right. Guess there weren't much of a choice. This was in our new camp. High in some nasty country, badlands are as bad as we can find this far to the east. The place we are holed up used to belong to a bunch of murderers. The Murfreys, or some nonsense like that they call themselves. We shot some of them. But there's more lurking in the woods around this place. Don't think we have long here before the law or the Pinkertons find us again. I just hope we can find... I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while. Or ahead of ourselves. And that's the end before all of this happened. Alright. So just like the last episode, I went for an hour plus. Wait. 
Why is that canoe there? So I'm gonna leave this episode here and I'm gonna save it up and then I think I can record one more episode for today. But holy hell has this story just gone from bad to worse. Everything just has hit the fan. It's not even like shit has hit the fan. We are shit at this time. And it's just going everywhere. We cannot control what is going on. And Dutch is just as lost as ever. I can't I can't see backing him any further. And this just shows how everything went so awfully f leading into the first game. It's just sad.